we did a huge search for, for people who could play these roles, such iconic roles. And when we met Aubrey, Stephanie, Aurora, and Haley, it was like magic. Today's episode of Clever News Feed is brought to you by Gem and the Holograms in theaters October 23rd. Well, this movie, it kind of highlights like the good and the bad parts yes. of being famous. Yes. How do you guys kind of feel about the whole fame game in Hollywood? It's just um, noise. Yeah, noise. I don't really believe in that. I just think I, as long as you're following your passion, I think that's what's most important. You know, you're doing what you love. Yeah. Tell me about your character specifically. You kind of, you two are sisters. Yes. Tell me about your little ride on this whole journey. Yeah, I mean, I'm more of the extrovert. She's the introvert. So yeah, we definitely. kind of help each other. She pulls me back and I push her out there, obviously. <laughs> um, so we definitely like, I don't know, it's, it's really cool. Just young and fearless and. Yeah, I think that Jerrica is really shy and is kind of the caretaker of the other sisters and doesn't really want to, she doesn't have any drive to be in the public eye or do anything like that. And, Kimber helps her get out of her shell a yeah. little bit. and But then you kind of kill it yeah. on stage. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, through being placed in this position of fame and everything, she I think she kind of well, plus she, discovers she herself. Disco she discovers she can also use it for something good. Exactly. Right. So my character, Rio Raymond, is the road manager. Okay. Yeah, he's the one trying to keep the girls on the straight and narrow and make sure they're doing everything right to become the superstars he believes they could be. Rio is so adamant about making his career his life that he forgets how to just live actually so the girls show him there's just an opportunity to just let go and enjoy what he's doing all right so we're gem in the holograms director yes. this is exciting you also brought synergy which is probably the highlight of my day of course and that she actually exists in real physical life how did she come about in the movie? Because it's such a great concept that's kind of a side storyline to all of this that ties everything together. Yeah. How did she come about? Whose idea was this? Well, uh, obviously synergy in the cartoon is a big part of the cartoon. And, um, and so we wanted to sort of show the origins of not just Gem as Jerrica, but also where did Synergy come from? And so uh, this gift that her dad gives her, this sort of unfinished gift is where it started. And we're like, well, what would Synergy, what was the first rendition of Synergy? And then how does that grow into the bigger thing eventually as our story gets bigger and bigger? The initial like chemistry read, did you guys all, did it just, Hit automatically. They moved us around a lot, and so a lot of mixing and matching. When I when I got the role, I didn't know who who was playing who. So when we showed up, it was cool because then we got to kind of put the scripts down and, and figure out our chemistry within the four of us. And yeah, that's one thing now of chemistry was, between We all two read people. kind of together, but like they'd throw different girls, and so mm -hmm. no, no John was never like, oh, this is who got cast. I was yeah. just waiting, like, I wonder if it's this girl or yeah, this one. Yeah, no idea. Yeah. We did a huge search for for people who could play these roles, such iconic roles, but we knew this was sort of their origin story, and so we wanted girls that you could really relate to, that you would love, that you would root for, uh, bring cartoon characters into real life. Um, and when we met Aubrey, Stephanie, Aurora, and Haley, it was like magic. Immediately we knew we had a movie there because you just wanted to hang out with them. They really get along, they were really like sisters. And then was there a favorite scene for you guys, like when you were filming and you were just like, this movie's kind of awesome? Uh, definitely the performance. The concerts. The yeah. concerts. Um, Were there just people packed in that room? Yeah, it was, yes. it was, the energy was crazy. Real gem fan. Someone flew in from Australia that was a gem fan. Like it was, yeah. it was really exciting. Oh, well, I had fun in a lot of the scenes, but I think my favorite was jumping off the Santa Monica Pier because we got to do that on the green screen. How, oh, okay, so that wasn't at the same No, 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 that wasn't, yeah, that would have been very cool, and I okay. think I might have died. And there's a lot of fun scenes with like all of the girls and Ryan. You and Ryan kind of have a thing going on. Yeah, it's oh, a thing. Oh, young you. love. How are you feeling about Ryan on set? It was great. I mean, I think little girls are going to love him. Yes. Obviously, he has all the abs. All the abs. <laughs> he has every single one of them. <laughs> all of them. Is that your voice in the, in the movie? That's my voice, yeah. Nice. It's the first time I actually sang, so I was very, very nervous. You know, you see these, these girls yeah. have amazing talent as far as their the vocal range and, and what they can do and this is my first time ever being a part of something like this so uh, to offer my own what I thought was talent <laughs> was just that was like good. it was really good I was like whoa he can sing <laughs> He, he was very scared, and uh, but I think all the girls were encouraging him, um, and he was excited to try something new. There's a scene we cut out in the movie where he's actually like hanging on the side of a building, and they're literally hanging there. We just have him wired in, and that was really scary, six stories up, and uh, he was like, 
I was more scared doing the music than do hanging off this building. Is that going to be in the deleted scenes? You have to give it to us. <laughs> you can't just tell us about that and then I not know, give it to us. Uh, it'll be in the deleted scenes, okay. I'm sure. While, while filming this movie, did you guys like learn anything? Yeah, I think that you know the messages of self empowerment and being who you are is always a good reminder. Creating that sounds cheesy, destiny. but yes. yeah. Oh, and the guitar also. <laughs> that was pretty nice. cool. Right on. I want to know uh, if you guys could pick like anyone to make come back in a hologram. Who would it be? That's a good one. Um, um I would say my grandpa. Okay, cute. That's a good one. Yeah, I guess I'd say my grandma. Okay, and then what do you guys want people to take from this movie? What, how do you think they're gonna relate to it? What, what do you guys hope that people come out of this theater thinking? I mean, I think I just hope that they, they get the overall message of empowerment and, and trusting your passion and uh, yeah, believing yourself. I just cool. hope they feel good about themselves. Yeah, I think it's a good, it's a feel good movie because it has to do with family and what's most important and also the music's awesome. It, it's all about believing in yourself. You know, and then for the the older generation that's you know fell in love with Jem uh, in the '80s, right. they're gonna love the 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 performances. The synergy is an amazing character in itself, and uh, the crazy colors we we offer. It's just a lot of fun, and I think the music's great. So I feel like when people watch it, they're gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, I loved the music. I loved the characters. I felt like I could relate to those characters." Um, it's very current, it. and there's a lot of heart. Well, when we were first coming up with the concept of how to reinvent Jem and to, for this generation, we came back to the idea of identity and what does identity really mean? Because in the cartoon, she's switching identities constantly, and it's this part. But in in a real life situation, like how, what does that actually mean? And with social media and everything, we realized that identity is a huge issue now. Of who are you really? Are you the person that you post? Are you the pictures that you post? And so uh, we went after when we really went after that and how. Uh, that every kid struggle uh, or a grown-up struggle, you deal with who you decide to be. Behind that wall. Actually. Exactly. Click to the left for the seven most anticipated fall movies or move on over to the right for the 13 richest celebs under 25. And before you go, click here to check out the trailer for Gem and the Holograms in theaters October 23rd.